In this video, we will have a look on how to create and define various shipping methods and their shipping costs. To do this, uh, we will have to move to the settings to the left and select the shipping settings. Here you can find all your shipping methods uh, that you have in your shop right now with the, uh, yeah, the current uh, the, uh, grid view. You have all the imp uh, important information like the name, a description, the text calculation and uh, whether the shipping method is active or not. And you can also co uh, configure these columns as you know already. You can just click on a name to select a shipping method, but you can also use the context menu, the three dots to the right and click on edit or even delete your shipping method if you don't need it anymore. But we will have a look uh, just on the view of a shipping method. Just click on standard. Here you have the basic information with it, which is the name and the description, for example, and these are actually shown in the shop. So the customer can see the name and the description and you can describe what uh, this shipping method is actually doing. And you can uh, set it on active or inactive if you don't want to use it for right now. And you can also uh, upload or select a logo. And this is also visible in the checkout for the uh, customer. So this should be the, uh, the um, shipping provider's company logo, for example. You can also select a delivery time, which you can configure in these settings too. And here you just select uh, one of your defined shipping uh, or delivery times. And uh, yeah, most important, you can uh, select or define a tracking URL. But because a tracking URL is uh, yeah, always individual with an individual tracking link, you can just hover about the, this question, question mark right here to re reveal the info box, yeah, which is uh, telling you that the shipping code is replaced by a variable, which is percentage %s. And uh, this is a placeholder for the actual shipping code. So you can just fill the shipping code in the order and it will be filled in this link. So just an example, I copied uh, the German DHL tracking uh, link, which uh, about looks like this. And you can fill your ident code as you can see at the end, for example. And then you could just say percentage %s. So the last two characters here will be replaced by the shipping code from the actual order. So this uh, link actually makes sense for the customer then. For internal use, you can also add tags uh, if you want to use that, for example, in rules or something. And also very important, we have the availability rules. Here you can select various rules from your rule builder. And uh, yeah, just to make us just to say when this shipping method is active or when this shipping method is allowed. Just uh, right now, th the card is uh, greater or equal zero, which should be uh, always uh, always be the case, of course, just as standard availability rule. We also can configure the text calculation. Currently, it's an auto setting, so it uh, automatically calculates uh, the text uh, based off the items that are in the card. But you can also say it's uh, the highest amount of text in the card or a fixed amount. So you can just select uh, select a text rate, but we will leave it automatic. Last up are the price matrices. Uh, here you can see or here you can actually configure the shipping costs of this shipping method. So currently this is unrestricted. That's because we did not select a rule yet. So we can just select the rules from the rule builder here and say uh, on which condition this pricing is active but uh, we will choose the default rule. So this is always uh, the standard price. You can could select uh, a quantity. So a quantity from zero to five products, for example, will be this price and six and above is a different price. And you have to uh, fill in the gross and net price for this shipping method, which, which could be four and three euros. But, um, we will want to create a second price matrix just to show you all the possibilities. And we click on add price matrix. And here you can see also we have the unrestricted again. We can select a rule first. Uh, so let's say this price matrix is just for customers from the USA. So you can select that rule. And then you can have, you, you have two ways on you know, actually defining the pricing of this price matrix. 
you can either select a card property as shown before, you can select the product quantity, you can select a card price, a, a weight, a total order weight or order volume. Or you can even choose a custom rule. If you have a, just a custom rule from the rule builder, you can also choose that. But we will go with the weight, for example. And the weight is always measured in kilograms. Just make sure to uh, yeah, keep in mind the basic uh, measurements. So let's say the second uh, from the, for the USA, the weight is from one kilogram to 9.9, .9, for example. So everything under 10 kilograms is also four euros and three euros net. And everything from 10 kilograms and above, so infinite, should be 10 euros or eight net. And as always, make sure to save your work. If you have done all your changes, just hit the save button, wait for the little check mark, and you can move back to your shipping costs overview.